How can you effectively manage your sustainability initiatives with so many different data sources? And how can AI and machine learning help in achieving your sustainability targets? It's great to have Nick Jackson. He's the head of finance and operations, business development and strategy at Oracle back on our show. And he's here to discuss the latest developments and innovations. Welcome back, Nick. We see so many new improvements in sustainability and performance management. How can businesses changing their approach to environmental reporting and especially to compliance as one of their key strategies? Well, I guess, I guess it's fair to say you know, this whole move to sustainability reporting, i.e. into non-financial, is, isn't new. It's, it's just the, the nature of it that's new. So many organisations have been providing narrative reports for a long time, um, you know, providing you know their view on the future, their ambitions, um, and increasingly commenting on their impact on the environment. But what's really changing now is the uh, that this is subject to audit, audit requirements. It's a platform, therefore, for greater standardization and improving market confidence that what they're being told about organizations' approach to the environment and to the wider ESG topic that they, they can have validity. Therefore, much of the business conversation to date that I've seen has been very much about reporting and compliance. But what, what I see is that organisations are realising that just reporting on a compliant basis isn't actually what they need to do. What they really want to do is to move from a reporting focus to much more actionable insight, i.e. using the reports to then identify where they can improve, how they can be more uh, more sustainable in the way they are operating, etc. So I, I've seen organisations now bring analytical strength through AI, as you talked about a moment ago, to drive greater insight, identify trends, generate predictive forecasts, and to support multiple rapid scenario planning. Businesses are really making the link now between sustainability management and financial performance, so they can allocate resources effectively not just to report against their environmental uh, challenges or, or, or impact, but actually to create enterprise value. And this is particularly important given the broader perspective of the whole ESG, you know, environment, societal governance aspects to how business is looking to support their people, to understand their impact on society, to manage risk and to abide by high, higher ethical standards. So, for example, they're looking to bring... Um, strategic thinking to the way that they embed sustainability into core activities and transforming their business models. So there's, there's new focus on new business models. And again, historically, and being a finance guy, I would say this, you know, historically, we're always told to focus on shareholder value. There's, I've very much talked in the last couple of years around the move to stakeholder value, i.e. you can't just think about the financial impact, but you need to engage that, engage that broader stakeholder group but increasingly, we're now talking about system-wide value. So understanding how governance is effectively aligned with societal impact and that those things are dependent upon environmental impact. So very much we're seeing organisations looking to get value, more value from just reporting and compliance so that they can really take this agenda forward in a much more holistic way. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into the AI and ML part. So can you explain how AI and machine learning are helping these companies to meet their sustainability goals by improving on one end the data collection, but also their analysis? Well, I, I guess it's fair to, you know, let's, let's talk about traditional AI, what one might term traditional AI. And by that, I mean, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and it's focus on you know, analyzing data and, and generating insights through data. So. It's long been used to automate data, data collection, to support the consolidation and the validation processes around that data. And, and we've done that a lot through a lot of our capabilities, particularly in relation to financial performance and financial reporting. However, what we're now looking seeing is, is organizations like ourselves extending these system capabilities through our, our what we call our EPM suites. So that's our suite of, of, of solutions that support financial um, consolidation, financial reporting, but also support the FP&A activity. We're, we've extended those capabilities now to support ESG planning and reporting. So again, helping organizations think about the 
different scenarios to run sensitivity sensitivity analysis and, and to look at how different uh, dynamics, external and internal to the organization, can affect um, future plans in relation to carbon offsets, uh, as well as the broader ESG agenda. So AI and machine learning are being used to provide decision makers with you know, the means to rapidly test different options towards how they might meet those sustainability targets to identify recommendations, but equally importantly, to, to articulate the nature of the risks associated with different decisions that they might take. Another angle to this, which is obviously hot topic of the moment, is the whole potential for generative AI to play into this place, i.e. artificial intelligence that creates new content that draws upon large language models and the like, as well as organizational inf information, i.e. narrative as well as a numerical perspective upon the subject. And again, we're looking here at things like narrative reporting and how you can how you can extend that from what may be traditionally numerically based to actually bring uh, narrative uh, reports in a much more dynamic and, and faster way together, and therefore short circuiting a lot of what currently takes um, a lot of time and, and an effort. The other angle to generative AI that I think we're looking at, I think we're seeing more of is the use of generative AI to support collection of non-financial insights from outside of the organization. You know, for example, how do we compare to others in our industry, others in our geographical location? So I can see that generative AI will enable rapid drafting of narrative and data visualization, which helps those doing the reporting to, pre to present a much more uh, realistic picture of how the organization is doing in terms of meeting their their sustainability target and also how they can compare against their peers uh, and, and therefore how best to proceed. You know, ESG requires a whole broad range of non-financial information insights to be brought together effective. And this combination of traditional AI and generative AI will be critical to bringing this together in a controlled way and providing the means to ensure you've, you maintain that audit trail in terms of data sourcing through to how you're then reporting that information. Thank you, Nick. I, I really love the way how you describe in detail how big the challenge is, but especially, of course, how you can solve it and sh sharing with us the latest innovations in sustainability performance management. Thank you, Nick. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you, Ronald.